Hey guys, D Mike here. Hello and welcome back to another episode of The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker HD. Last time we did some side quests. Today, we're doing some side quests. So hopefully you're ready for that. First things first, we're going to use the Wind Waker. Set the wind to the west. We're going to grab a little bit of more. A little bit of more. Where am I from? It's a me, a little bit of more. We are going to... Grab some more stuff today. We did the boating test course last time. We got a ton of rupees, which if you need rupees, it's the perfect way to get them. We are headed one square west. Being escorted by the government. Very nice. I don't know exactly where this is. Okay, I think that's it. <laughs> Speaking of... So I learned that the treasure charts you collect lead to treasure. Crazy, right? Oop, but wait, oh, we already have money. We got full monies. I got excited. Let's get fast. There's a bo-cob, bo bo -koblin? bo -koblin? Nobody's gonna be catching up to us. Okay, never mind. <laughs> hey, back off. I'm already low on health. Quit. I think they know what they're doing. Am I going too far? Uh. Th wait. I'm doing math in my head. Sorry. Yeah, I think what I was looking for might be over here. the The map is a grid. Obviously, you can do. You know, one through seven, A, B, C, D, E, whatever. I think actually what I wanted is over here. And if it's not, I'm going to find this spot. Nope, this looks right. Okay. So. This is the thing that I goofed last time. We're going really fast. They're coming right for us. All right. Will they not come to me if I'm going slowly? All right. So. The problem that I had where I wanted to show something that didn't have a beacon before is because you have to open the treasure chart. And when you do that, then you can collect your prize. Now, my problem is I didn't have the treasure chart that was needed to grab the thing, which is, see, that's a little bit of a different glow. It's like a, like a bright green. Also, it doesn't show up. Nope, not the right thing. Can you please just do what I need you to do? No shenanigans. I don't know. Maybe the other side of the boat. Just help me out, game. Come on. If you like me struggling, consider liking the video, commenting, and subscribing. I don't know how far away this was, because... You can hear it, obviously. All right, so apparently me hitting the grappling hook, the game is like, no. Nah. There's no real good frame of reference for where it is. Like, I looked. Okay, so it's like, I don't know. A bit of a, a bit of a way. I like have it in my, in my brain here. Uh, here? It's like really close to this. Okay. Nope. <laughs> There's no real good way to inch into it. Okay. Got my eye set on it. It's like yonder over. Yeah, this is this is cool, isn't it, viewers? Isn't this really cool? Are we having fun yet? Trying to do this? I think it's like roughly. Make your sound here please okay how about the other side all right this is the dumbest thing can I just move a teeny bit just a teeny yeah there we go no stop 
Okay, so maybe it, when it zooms in, maybe that's how you know you got it. Oh, so this is what treasure charts can potentially give you, which is great. So now we have another heart. We love that. But here we are at the Angular Isles. And we are going to explore this a little bit. I think this is a block pushing puzzle if I remember. This looks right. Is there a way to uh is there a way to do this without falling in the water? Maybe this is as far as I need to go. If we remember, these are the blocks from the similar blocks to the Dragon Roost area. And there's a little bit of an indentation, so you can... It'll help you if you are smarter than me, which I guarantee all of you absolutely are. Okay. This is a very fun puzzle. I really appreciate this. But the, the price is worth it. The fact that you can get these two things back to back is pretty incredible. Woo! Back to back heart pieces, baby! And then before you leave... Oh. Before you leave, you're definitely going to want to grab this because... Like I was saying before, these are pretty rare. The blue chews. Not for natural male enhancement. The fact that that is pushed so heavily on all these... Unlike so many podcasts where it's not sneaky. Like, oh, well, our clientele loves it. All right. Um, yeah, that's weird. I don't know if there's anything over here. Oh, I don't have enough magic to get there. <laughs> well, that will have to be something we save for another time. Speaking of magic, though... Huh? All right, so we're gonna take care of that magic problem right now. Go ahead and get your Wind Waker out. Using your Pro Controller. All right, we're gonna sail west one more time. Once again, it's not that I don't know where I'm going, it's just that I don't know where I'm going. So, help, your, help me help me. All right, so we're gonna sail west again. One more square. And you remember those seagulls that we saw before? And how they were kind of swirling around. They were trying to signal us to something. Now, following their lead is what we're going to be doing. They are going to be our spirit guides for a bit of a kerfuffle that we're about to do. They will let you know. I think it's this, maybe something like this. This is an area that we'll be exploring actually later. Um, but we are trying to trigger something so triggered. We're trying to trigger something that happens around here. I think this is it over here. No. This is actually something we'll be... This is a set piece, a very important set piece that we'll be... Nope, never mind. It's a submarine. Have we done this submarine? I'm gonna check this out real quick. This is not part of the plan. We're going off script right now, viewers. Alright, let's go ahead and... Only downside. I mean... I guess. The swift sail turning radius not great i don't know if i've done this submarine i don't know if when you finish them they die oh there's bombs here hello whoa 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 this is wild and crazy kids okay do y'all die after you get hit by your bombs i don't know if they do this feels like danger everywhere start. I'm just gonna like boomerang you boys. Oh, that's a lot of bombs. I'm surprised that the Hui Yu is not 
having an absolute panic attack right here. Yeah, we're just gonna boomerang these boys. Because I don't trust this. This seems horrible. Why is every- oh, that's where the chest will be. I was like, why is the floor on fire? Then I also realized that there are bombs everywhere, so technically that does make sense. Thematically. Alright. I think I got a couple there. Spanked him. Spanky spank! Yeah, I gotta, like, leave the... I'm not really aiming, I'm just kind of, like, holding it and hoping that it hits them. Oops. I'm actually impressed it took that long for me to hit. I'm afraid to touch them with anything besides range, because it would hurt me, I think. Ooh, that's a heart. Like a that. Oops. Let them put the bombs down, and then you, then you bonk them. This guy's just running in circles. It's me and life. It's a metaphor. Yours? All right. I think that has done it. I don't know what this gives you, or if this is something I should be doing now or not. But I ran into it, so I thought, why not? Not to mention, we did get the submarine chart last time, so technically, you can do this whenever you want. Where is the... Oh, the treasure's back here. I went into the entrance. Oops. Wouldn't you know it? You can't be upset with me today, though. I showed you two heart pieces. Pretty incredible progress, if I do say so myself. What is this? Drazer chart! Yeah. It would be cool if they would tell you which one it was. You just have to open it. And then, I guess the idea is that in conjunction with the bait fish, you would know, like, oh, it looks like this. The shapes of this island look similar to the treasure chart, what you're looking at. All right. Anyway, we're on the look for some calamari. I'm hoping I can find it. Where are them seagulls at? I have no idea. Am I even on the same? Wait, one, two, three. I think I went too far. I think we've gone too far. Yeah, I, that submarine was not planned. But what I would like to do is find those seagulls again. Because there's a, there's a baddie around here. And we're trying to find them. I, I only have like a cursory knowledge of this information through my notes. Come on. Where is it? Where is he? We will be exploring that place later, like I said. I do see the fish boy over here, though. Maybe it would be cool to... Nope. And I keep hitting that button a lot. Nope, nope, nope. Come back. Stop. I don't really need to do this, but... I mean, I bought all that bait. Stop. Oh, there's a, there a button that just says stop. He's coming right for us. Alright, have I made that joke before? Oh, it tells you when you do actually commit to the treasure trial. I did not know that. Alright, so we have the bait bag here. I'm actually impressed with myself, though. I am using a fair amount of... My items. I'm proud. Hello. We'll be coming back here, I would imagine. Headstone Island. Oh, okay. Tell you a secret. Yeah, yeah, I know that. We already passed that. Oh, I didn't read what he said. That actually probably was useful information. Oops. Yeah, I... I don't know where I'm going. I mean, there is something we can do on this place here. Maybe I can... Maybe I'll wrap up... 
maybe I'll wrap up here after I go to this island, Headstone Island. I believe this is what this is called. I'm just taking a little jaunt. There's a lot of rupees here if you need them. Only green ones though. All right, let's stop here. Whoop. Get out the boat. All right, so this is probably confusing. You're like, what is this? Ooh, there's crepes. So we've used our, our bait. We're gonna use the other item that we have in our, stop, in our bait bag. The whee pair. All right. We have four, so might as well put them to use. If we remember these summon seagulls. This is not, this is not the seagull summoning that I was referring to before. We actually do need this seagull for something else. We're trying to get to the top of Headstone Island. Why? Well, you're gonna find out. Oh, viewers, look at that. I like how it just very casually is like, boink, just plucks it out of the air. You can I see what I'm looking for from up here? I wonder if I could do that. That'd be excellent. Some of them fish. Okay. I don't know if it will, if the game will spawn in what I'm actually looking for. So this is probably pointless, but it's kind of neat. I mean, yeah. How do I stop? <laughs> How do I, I wish I could quit you. Okay, I'm good. Can I just, I would like to be done. Oh, why is that the button? We've gotten three pieces of heart, ladies and gentlemen, in, um, mm, how do you say one episode? That's pretty much a record. So I don't, uh, I don't hear any complaining at you. All right. We realistically only need one more and in getting one more, we would have a full heart container. We have one, two, three. Four, one, two, sorry, I can't count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Which is wonderful. All right. So we're currently on Headstone Island, which means that I have gone too far. And I need to turn around. I'm looking for, get our map out. I'm looking for... Square one more to the right. Okay, so this means we need to get our Waker of Winds. We're doing great. And we're gonna head east. Which is not where I was actually heading based on what you just saw. So, okay, okay. We're going this way. We're just gonna do some normal sailing. Normal. Hopefully our seagull friends will pop out again. Would really love to have the encounter happen that I said would happen. Although I'm not seeing them, which is, I mean, pretty cool. Who needs it? Oh, this looks, uh, I don't know if the ocean getting clearer is good or not. All right, there they are. There's seagulls, hello. We're looking for, I mean, if I had the fish, I could see a fish this big, hold on. Okay, so we're sort of where we need to be, sort of, kind of. I don't know for sure. This is all just me trying to read my scribbles here. No, don't say that nonsense. I didn't realize the game was going to railroad me. It's in this square somewhere. We're supposed to, I think the seagulls are supposed to be like a, an indicator that you're doing, that you're doing what you need to do. I feel bad because I'm not being very clear with what I'm trying to accomplish here. Is this it? Hold on. It looks like it is. This looks kind of gnarly, doesn't it? 
Ooh, what is this? Maybe this is it. It's getting kind of dark and stormy. I think that's what my note said. There's these boys. Am I inside some sort of like military base? I'm just kind of like hanging around like, Hey guys, what's going on? Don't mind me. I'm just some dumb kid. Just the hero of time. Just hanging around. I mean, there are a lot of these. There's a lot of seagulls here. Is, can this be what this is supposed to be? I really don't know what I'm doing. We're getting close to... Uh, oh, wait. There's the... There's the fish from over here. I see him. We don't really have a way to... To engage in combat, unfortunately, so... We don't want to... We don't really want to do that. Let's get our bait bag out, though, and... Fill up another square. How about it? I don't really know what else the bait does besides... This. I mean, you can use it for rats, which is great. Because who wouldn't want to do that? Oh, hello. He's like, give me the food, 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 give me the food. I think we're in the right spot. I mean, I'm not 100% sure, but. Yeah. Lately, no one around these waters has seen the beautiful. Oh. Oh, magic? Big Octos? That couldn't be what I was talking about. Okay, so, yes. He kind of spilled the beans a little bit. That is what I was trying to accomplish. But until we see it, I guess it doesn't matter. I don't know how to trigger that encounter to happen. So I'm just like... I'm just hanging out in the water here. Oh wait, I see there's a bunch of seagulls over here. Uh, wait. Are y'all trying to lure me here? Yes, there we go, finally. Okay. Oh yeah, you ready for this, viewers? This is the big octo. This is the four-eyed octo. As you can see, we will be using our Boon Jamarang to do damages. That is the only way for us to do damage to this variant of the Octo for now. We don't have any ranged weaponry besides this. And I believe we have to heat, hit, heat. We have to hit each of the eyes two, three times, something like that. We gotta do it quickly because we are getting awfully close to the inside of the Whirlpool. I think the, okay, the eyes light up like a blue color when you're done. That's nice. Thanks, game. Thanks for having this enemy biologically have its eye sockets light up when it's dead. <laughs> Pretty sweet. All right, beautiful frame rate issues. Oh. There's the there's the great fairy that they didn't see. Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask, obviously, in this game. Great fairies. Man. Creepy. We freed her from the beast's foul grasps, though that feels pretty darn good, viewers. Come on. How about it? She's like, let me blow this on you. Yes, our magic power has been doubled. That's kind of wild, isn't it? We have twice as much as we did before. I still think that that sound is uh, from Mega Man X something, 5, 4, whatever. Yeah, that feels pretty good. So... We are going to, uh, we're actually going to sail past Outset Island currently, and we are going to do one last little thing, 
and then we're going to call it a day because we're getting close to time here. But we have a little bit more to actually grab before we're going to head to the next plot device. Surprisingly, we are not done grabbing heart pieces. almost forgot what they were called for a second. All right, we're getting close. We're going to bypass outset home. If Link wanted to, he could just totally call it a day. Be like, nah. The boat's like, but wait, you need to go do this. And he's like, nah, destiny sucks. I actually think if we want to do this last thing is kind of fun. If my notes are correct. But then again, that is debatable. We're almost there. I think it's th that's in the distance, maybe. And I'm seeing all these swirly in the ocean things that I could be doing, but I have full monies and I don't need it, so. Is that a fat stack in your pocket or are you happy to see me? All right, so once we get to the, oh boy. Once we can finally get to the full southwest corner of the map, past the large P hats. Is that what those are? I don't know. All I know is they're scary and I don't like them. They're very scary. All right, here we go. This is the, this is the final destination of the day. And we are going to hop out of the boat, please. Thank you, these are terrifying. Okay, so what I believe this is, is kind of like miniature golf. You can see there's a hole in the ground right there. And we have a big old nut. We'll drop our nut and then we're gonna go to our items. We're gonna go to our items and we are going to replace the bait with the leaf. Oh yeah, whoop. Okay, great, nailed it. So we have three tries here, which we did really well in the first one. Let's go ahead and put this down, line it up, line it up. up, up. Okay, great. I think I probably need to actually put it down in between where the vines are because that's the direction the shot's going to be. Oh, there we go. Okay, great. So this will just be what the rest of the episode is. <laughs> Me fumbling around like an idiot. I think you do have to do it this way. I don't, I don't believe that there's any way that you could um, throw it that far. Please just get in there. Oh my God. I might have had that one if I wouldn't have put it down so far. We're getting a little bit carried away with how strong Link is. Okay, if I could just... Alright. I actually do really enjoy miniature golf. It's pretty fun. If you've never been, you should... Why does he do it sideways? Like a dingus. Okay, that worked. So it, it can just... Okay, so it can just... Uh... It can clip through the vines. I could not remember what that word was. I was like, what is that? All right. Is, am I too far? I don't like these ominous boys in the background. Okay, it's a little bit too far. Maybe if I go this way and I do it from here. Nope. All right, anytime now, anytime. Oh, nuts. Oh, it's daytime now. We've been playing so much mini golf that it's a new day. Let's grab one of these boys while I wait. I'm hoping that the other two will respawn by the time. Yeah, there we go. By the time I've had a million tries at this. This is great content. Nope. Didn't mean to do that. Oh, wait, maybe I can still blow it from here. Get there, please. <laughs> Come on. Game, have a little bit of sympathy. Can we curve it? 
No. This game is cruel. How do I do that? And then I just... I mean, that one's definitely not going in. Oops. Oh, that one actually almost did go in. That was almost the closest one. Can you cheese? No, you probably can't. I guarantee that the moment you try to like walk around it, the game's like, I've had enough of you. I'm a little scared because I'm having trouble mightily with just this first one. And I guarantee they get, I guarantee the third one's probably a doozy. I'd like these to grow back faster. It's like, I'm not, it's hard to like angle yourself. I'm like, he like slightly turns his body when he does it. I don't like that. And then I've got these guys in the background. They're like, hey, can we play through? No. You wait your turn, you scumbags. Yeah. Come on. Ugh. How does that not count? That was right there. Right there. Come on. Game. Have a tiny bit of empathy. Please. This is, this is the dumbest thing. <laughs> and it's only happening like this because I'm an idiot. And now I have to play Putt-Putt in the rain. Which I learned is like a, it's like the name, it's like the name brand. Putt-Putt is like the Kleenex of mini golf. Nope. Didn't mean to do that. All right. And I'm like starting to run out of patience. Oh, actually, that looks pretty good. Yes. Oh, so now, now it'll count. All right, this third one, whatever this is. Um, I think I'm going to hate this. Because you have a very small, oh, he's just taunting me. You have a very small window to do this. Get there, baby. Oh, that was the easiest one of all three. That's the dumb. Okay, that was that was that was so stupid. The first two were supposed to be harder, and the third one was the easiest one of all. It's embarrassing. Goodness. Who are you? Ho ho! Are you Santa? Ooh, a kaleidoscope. That's fun. What did that treasure get? Treasure chest. What's oh, over there? Oh. Okay. Oh, I believe I'm going to have to glide to it. All right. Which direction is that? I think this way. Oh my gosh. Thank goodness I got that on the first try. And whoop. Yes. Thank you. What a great way to end the episode with some mini golf success. Whoa! That almost made me very sad. Okay. Although I feel bad because there was, hold on. There was, there was like this whole thing over here. Like, what if I just go the other direction? I could have just ended it there. But I'm already here. So the opposite direction of east is west, of course. So, and there's this very tantalizing hole. Okay. Oh, you guys are, you guys are in for it now. I got the boomerang. <laughs> Little did you know, I'm unstoppable now. Nope. <laughs> Didn't mean to do that. Let's try that again. Link's like, again? Yeah, all right, so. Let's have some uh, spatial awareness to know that you can't go into the teleporter early. Oh, I'm just stunning them now. It's not actually doing what I wanted to do. Oh, I need to get over there and... Oh, he's dead. Never mind. So we got two Mothulas. And uh, we got a big boy here. Oh, you're, you're mine, son. I'm gonna smack you right on your buns. Yeah, so when you kill the big winged Moculas. Oh, did I kill both of them at the same time? That was clutch. Nice. 
Yeah, you can pop down here real quick. Ooh, that treasure chest made a weird kind of pop in. You might as well get the other thing that's here. We're pretty close to being done with the other optional things. I think there's maybe two more that I can do. Well, only one of them is something I really care about. No, I think the, according to my notes, there's some pretty big prizes still ahead of us. So let's go ahead and zip on out of here after playing in that dark hole. Yeah. All right, great. So we're going to hang out with this boy in his kaleidoscope, and uh, I will see you next time. So thanks for watching, everybody. I've been D-Mike. This has been... The Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker HD, and I'll see you next time for more. Bye!